do fun stuff together with artist Drew Rockington and Catstronaut Awful. Hey everybody, it's me, Drew. And it's me, Waffles. And we are here for more fun stuff to do together. That's right, this is our last week of fun stuff together before we go on summer break. So we wanna make sure we have the best time in the world. The best time in the solar system. The best time in the galaxy. The best time in the universe. The best time, what's bigger than the universe? Nothing is bigger than the universe because the universe never stops growing! Whoa! That's very cool. Okay, uh, yesterday we started our moon uh, drawing and we today, or this week, we're gonna make one big drawing over four different pieces of paper that'll connect together and make like a panoramic moon view. It'll be really cool. But, Waffles, you have some more moon facts. I do, and I brought a visual aid. Let me push the button. Boop. There it is, there's the moon. And this is the moon in color. I just wanted to show it in color because so often when you look up at the sky at night and you see it, uh, you just see it looks gray. But when you look at it in color, you actually see there's lots of other things. But I wanted to point out those big black spots on it. Yeah, what are those waffles? What are those spots? Well, those spots are ancient lava pools. Gigantic pools of lava. That means there was volcanoes on the moon at one time and they erupted and the lava went everywhere, all over the surface, and then they cooled and they formed these black spots. Let's look at it again. Whoa, that is really cool. Yeah, and we we call them maras, uh, which is, uh, it, it means sea, but they're kind of like lava oceans. That's how we refer to them. So anyways, that's my moon fact. Wow, that is such a cool moon fact. Thank you for sharing. And you've been to the moon. Yes, of course I have. It is quite lovely. Uh, wow, well, that sounds like a vacation spot. Well, the minute, uh, next time I take a vacation, maybe I'll go to the moon and, and see what it's all about. That would be great. Uh, and if you're there, maybe you could, uh, you know, uh, see if you can find the watch I left there. I think I lost my watch there. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, so let's see, let's check this out. So yesterday we drew our command uh, service module. This is the thing that orbits the moon and uh, the lunar lander goes down to the surface. Uh, so this is the thing that, that the rocket or the spacecraft that propels the astronauts or the astronauts to the moon uh, so that the lander can land on the surface. This is what we drew yesterday. Today we are going to draw the actual lunar lander and I found this sweet image of what our lunar lander looks like. This is the astronauts lunar lander um, that we use at NASA. Uh, it was used for the Apollo missions. And there's a lot of technical stuff on there, right? Like it, it oh, there's the moon again. It just kind of looks like a big like machine. But uh, we went through and we labeled some stuff for you. So here's the lander and here is some important things to know. Uh, we're gonna start at the top. At the top, there's like a little satellite dish. That's the antenna. That is what we send communications back and forth to mission control so the astronauts can talk to each other. Uh, you can see this little triangle. Uh, that's the window. There's like a circle in the middle and next to that is a little triangle. Those are the windows. And then over on the edge, you see these things that look like little cones. Those are the, the thrusters. Those are used to maneuver the ship around and I said uh, yeah, last time I said they had them you know pointing out at all angles so they could rotate the ship in 360 degrees actually more than that in like a perfect sphere then we have the hatch right there in the middle and you can see like there's a little walkway right in front of the hatch that they use to walk down to the ladder and you can see the ladder that they use for climbing down and then you see these spider legs sticking out those are the landing struts those are the things that actually hit the surface of the moon and they have these little foot pads these kind of like dishes that land on the surface 
And then right at the very bottom, there is a, like a little cone. You can see this little cone poking out. That's the engine used uh, to shoot the lander back off the surface of the moon to connect back with the command service module. So those are all the parts of the lander. That's very cool. And that's what we're gonna be drawing today. So, Waffles, are you ready to draw? Nope, I'm never ready to draw, but I am ready to listen and watch some other people drawing. Well, uh, just because Waffles doesn't like to draw doesn't mean that you don't have to draw. Uh, why don't we hop into our drawing and grab a sheet of paper and we can start our new drawing. Let's look at that Lunar Lander one more time as we hop into our drawing. That's pretty cool. All right, here we go. All right, let's grab our drawing. Here I am, hi everyone. And something that we're gonna do, we're gonna line this up. I don't know how I'm gonna show this. I'm gonna have to like go do 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 But you know, we're gonna line up our papers so they, they touch and they're the same. And what we're gonna do this week is we're gonna make a big long one, a big panorama. So this is what, and we're gonna connect it here. And it's nice right now we just have space so we don't really have to worry about matching up, but later in the week, we're gonna have to really focus on matching up our, our drawings to make sure they're okay. So our lunar lander, if we go back to what it looks like, let's look at it one more time. So if we're gonna break it down into shapes, we could do a circle on top and a square for the bottom, and then we can kind of put out some spider legs. So let's go ahead and start trying that. And remember, we're gonna make it so, I need some visual aids here. If this donut, or no, we'll use these cats. Okay, if this cat is the lunar command service module and this cat is the lander and they're connected, when they break off, it's gonna be going down to the surface at an angle. You can see my big hairy arm. I guess I could do it here. <laughs> okay, so here we are floating over the moon. Oh yeah, I can use these drawings, great. Here's the drawings. This is the one cat, and then the other one breaks off to land on the surface. It's gonna be heading down at an angle, like this. We'll put our heads together. So it's going down like this. So we're gonna draw our lunar lander coming down to the surface at an angle. So, we're gonna start with drawing. Actually, you know what we're gonna start with? Sharpening the pencil. Make sure your equipment is in top working order before you attempt this drawing. That means sharpening your pencils, making sure your marker works, your crayons, whatever you're using. Get it in order. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and do, we're gonna do a rectangle for the bottom of the lander that and then we'll do a circle just to start figuring out where everything else on the lander is going to be then we can add some we can always go back and check out our image look at these spider legs they're really cool okay let's do that let's go back okay we start adding some spider legs so i drew couple lines out, line straight across, and then a line down at an angle. And then we can do just do one big leg down at an angle here. And remember they have these foot pads on the bottom. These like are almost like bowls. They're designed to gently rest on the moon's surface so they don't you know crack any holes or if you land on like an uneven surface It'll kind of make up the difference. Okay, very cool. Okay, now this is gonna be our main leg. What is going on? Cool, this is our main leg. And then we're going to do, let's see, what else can we include? This is our struts here. These are like poles that we're drawing. Okay, now we need to draw in where our hatch is gonna be. So I'm gonna draw a big square right here. And then within that square, I'm gonna draw another square. This will be our hatch door. And then I'm gonna draw little triangles in each corner. 
and I'm gonna go through with my eraser and I'm gonna erase just those triangles so you just have this line. It basically looks like a really fat stop sign. But I'm giving this this like angled edges. It's kind of a cool little trick to make it look like a cool door or hatch from the future. I'm gonna put a little window in it and then the handle. And I'm just gonna point out now, like our lander is not gonna be accurate to the NASA one. We're not designing that one. We are designing our own lunar lander for the, you know, for the next catstronauts that land on the, the moon. The new batch, the new recruits. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna kinda turn this in like our lander, if we go back to our lander image, it's not a perfect circle. It's actually made of a bunch of different pieces. So I'm gonna go back to this circle and I'm gonna turn this into a larger stop sign. So I'm gonna draw straight lines here and a straight line on top. And then I'm gonna connect them. Just like you're drawing the stop sign. Awesome. And then we have this thing here. Let's go ahead and draw another, we'll draw straight lines all the way up. And then from this top of the hatch, I'm gonna draw triangles. Kind of like the stop sign has all these triangles. So this is all the different sizes and shapes or all the different edges of our cool moon thing. And then here in these triangles, I can add my little windows. And I'm gonna put a line and another triangle inside. Very cool. And then if we want to, or not if we want to. Okay, now I'm gonna add two little triangles to the top. These are gonna be our special solar panels. So I'm gonna draw just kind of rectangles inside of them. These help keep our lunar module charged. Hey, look at that. It kind of looks like we're drawing a cat. Kind of like for catstronauts, they get a cat themed spaceship. Very cool. Okay, now I'm gonna draw a ladder on this. One, two, three, four, five, six rungs. I'm gonna draw edges to the ladder here. And then we can draw another little ladder. Two, three, kind of going up to the hatch so they can crawl down. What else are we drawing? Let's go ahead and draw, we'll draw some oxygen tanks on the side. So here we go. Almost like you draw two hot dogs, but then at the end of the hot dog, you put a circle. These are gonna be tanks that they're buckled to the side. And then I'm gonna draw like a whole communication cube. So just go ahead and draw a rectangle right on the edge there. That's gonna look cool. We can add some more details like paneling if we want to. Some panels. And then we can put our little dish on the top. So we can send communications back. Maybe there's a little antenna. Here we go. So the antenna to talk to the astronauts as they're doing their their uh, walk moonwalk. Then let's go ahead and we can do. Let's we're gonna put a toolbox down here so that the astronauts have access to any equipment on the surface. Here we go. Here's like the little latch for that. Tools and then. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna do like a 
circle here. This is just like a little doodad vent thing. Sometimes when I'm making vehicles, it's fun just to add these little knobs on them just to kind of make them feel a little more unique or a little more special. Okay. Then I'm going to add some more panels up here. Boop, boop, boop. Put in some rivets. It's going to be cool. Okay, now I'm going to add my little catsup symbol here. Great. And we're gonna also put, we have three foot pads, but we're gonna have a fourth one in the back. Ooh, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. We gotta remember our cone. So let's go ahead and draw our cone first to get home. And then here is our, yeah, we'll draw our fourth little command foot back there. Okay, cool. So we put them together. This is what it's looking like so far. Now, if we're landing on the moon's surface, we're actually going to have to draw the moon's surface. So I'm just going to draw a circle like that. And then the fun part is, is we get to fill the moon. And the moon, if we look back at the moon, you can see all these little like, like splats, all these white dots. Those are all craters. Those are from asteroids hitting it. So we're going to add all these little asteroid craters by drawing these circles on the surface of the moon. And then you can draw like lines out from them. I always say you draw a crater kind of like you draw half of a spider or you just draw the legs or half of a bug, you draw the legs on one side. I always say that. Here's a really big crater. Cool, we have our moon surface, and we'll, we can go through when we draw this and we'll add some more dirt and dust and everything. Okay, this is awesome. Let's go ahead and start inking this. I think this is really cool. Okay, I am gonna start at the top with my little solar panel ear. And I'm just gonna work my way around the drawing. And I'm gonna stop here because this is my oxygen tank I'm gonna draw that little hot dog or a mozzarella stick, put a circle inside of it. Here's another one, or circle inside of it. Great. And then here, I'm gonna stop there. And then I'm gonna draw my lander leg, a strut. And then we'll go up like we're drawing a pole. Ding. I'm gonna connect it to the ship. Here's this connection. Awesome. I'm gonna go down a little bit. Here's this little doodad. I don't know what it does. We have to make up some idea of what that little doodad does. Maybe it is a video camera so it can tape the mission as we land, maybe there's like a little camera here. Make a little box for a camera to poke out so it can look. Okay, now we're gonna do our, let's see, we're gonna do our other leg. So I'm gonna go, here's this first part. Here is the second part. And then this one, we might actually see the dish inside. So here is the dish. Very cool. And then let's go ahead and do two bars on either side. And I'm just gonna draw these ladder rungs. The straight black lines. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. And then here is another little doodad. This is our other video camera. 
important to record when you're doing something monumentous like going to the moon. It's important to record it on video. Just like how sometimes people videotape your videotape record, make a movie. What do they call that? Make a movie of your, um, like a birthday party or something fun like that. Just like that. Okay, here we go. Here's our bottom. We're gonna draw our cone. I'm actually gonna shade this in black, our cone. So it kind of stands out a little bit. Okay, now let's do our other landing strut, our lander leg all the way down. Here's our little foot pad. Make a gentle landing on the moon and then we'll do our little foot pad behind. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's come up the side. Here we go. We're going to draw our little, what did we say this was? Our communication box. And then I'm going to add some buttons on it. So it looks a little more official, just like that. And we'll go back up to the top. Let's add our satellite dish for talking to mission control. Attach it to the lander. Here we go. Here's the antenna inside of it. We'll add two more little antennas, maybe three. And our other solar panel. There's the solar, the individual solar cells in the cat ear solar panel. And then let's go ahead and draw in the rest of the spacecraft. Connect it here and here. And then we'll add our windows. Great. And our hatch. And I'm gonna go over that hatch door one more time. So cool, just to kind of make it a little more pronounced. We'll add our little window in there and our handle. And then let's go ahead and add that paneling. Wow, this was a quick drawing. I guess that's what happens when you are warmed up on how to draw things. Very cool, we can add, let's see, what other details can we add? We can add like little hoses going in if you want to. You can add, let's add a texture. I'm gonna add this little dot texture, like dots in a line. Cause this is, and the actual, I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you right now actually. Ooh, there I am, hey. Uh, oh, there's the moon. <laughs> okay, there, you can see the bottom of the, the lander is actually made of uh, gold. They use gold, they wrapped it in gold, and that's for protection from, you know, the elements basically, oh, here I am. Uh, you know, as they l landed on the moon, they used it to like shield certain pieces of equipment, make sure everything was okay. So I'm just gonna add that little texture in there so it looks okay. And let's see, I'm gonna add just a couple more, just little kind of random lines. And I'm gonna do an outline of my solar ears. These are just tiny little details. Okay, now let's go ahead and do our moon surface. So, 
Remember, this is organic thing, so we don't need to worry about keeping our lines straight. And we're gonna draw all of these craters. Here we go, awesome. These can be fast, you can add a ton of detail, you can go slow, you can draw like the inside of the craters if you want. I just doing these cool little things. All my halves of a bug. Cool, and then now, this is like the little dust on the moon. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna make sure that these scenes connect. So I'm gonna add stars. And when you do a big drawing that you wanna connect together, it's important to have elements that kind of, you know, go between them. Um, I can do this, I can add it real quick before we get into that. Going back here, I'm adding just black lines in each of those craters, some shadows. Okay, so now the element that is gonna connect these two drawings together are the stars. So I'm gonna draw the same type of stars across. I'm gonna draw these five pointed stars, the closest ones. Cool. Then I'm gonna draw these plus sign stars. These are the ones that are a little further away. Awesome. And then I'm just gonna fill this up with lots of tiny little stars. I'm gonna try to keep it random. So I'm gonna keep my pen moving, keep my eye looking around. I'm gonna put just a couple little dots in there because that is maybe a little plus sign. Because those are, you can see through them. All right, this is really cool. Then I'm gonna sign it DB20 right there. Look at that, cool. They connect. Very cool. Our drawing is coming together. So this is neat. So we have our command service module, and then we have our lunar lander coming down for a landing. So tomorrow we're gonna be adding our lunar rover. That's the car that the astronauts drive around, excuse me, they drive around on the surface of the moon in. So very cool. We will continue our moon unit tomorrow. This is awesome, everyone. Thank you for drawing with me today, doing some fun stuff together. Uh, I would love to see how your lunar lander came out. So as always, please get permission. Hop on Twitter or Instagram, take a picture of your drawing and post it and tag at the Brock Art. I would love to see these drawings. Whoa! I, um, you, it's so cool to see, it's so cool to see how, you know, you follow along and how you come up with your own things uh, to add to those drawings and make them, you know, come to life even more. I, I love seeing that. So yeah, please hop on, share at the Brock Art, um, tag me. And then also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Even though the uh, we're, we're approaching the end of the season, we're gonna be doing some more fun stuff throughout the summer. Not every day, but uh, I definitely have some fun stuff planned and you don't wanna miss that at all. Uh, and there's the moon. And you, uh, yeah, so you don't wanna miss any videos that might pop up over the summer, or you don't wanna miss the beginning of uh, season two coming this fall. So, uh, Waffles, anything else to add? I would like to add uh, that um, that command lunar lander module looks very comfortable and I would love to ride in it. Okay, you got a Castronauts approval on your lunar lander. Very good, everyone. Okay, so thanks very much for everything today and we'll see you back tomorrow. Goodbye, goodbye.